Well, I think that it is finally time to show you how AIDS is doing. And in case you are wondering who the hell is eight, I don't blame you. I, I think that I, the last time he was featured in a video, it was probably in full collection tour that was recorded in December. And now it's eight, almost eight months. It is eight months, right? It's eight months and I'm recording a video about eight. Perfect. In case you don't know, let me show you who he is. Eight is a tortoise and not just any kind of tortoise. It is the Testudo marginata species. And you see this is his, his enclosure. We made this more than a year ago when it is still holding up, I guess, nicely. I mean, there is not much been going on here. One thing that changed, you see, I blocked off his hide entrance because he's now actually too big for this hide. He can no longer... Can you like shut up, please? Jesus, these roaches are crazy. Shut up, hello, hello. They're often fighting or doing, I don't know why, just, they're just making a lot of noise, that's all that I know. Can you like please stop? Hey, what is going on? Shut up! There is a lot of them inside, a lot of them. Anyhow, now I have no idea what I was saying, but he can no longer fit inside of that hide, but he kept trying and trying to go inside, so that's why I blocked it off with that piece of wood and instead I made him this, this humid hide. You see there is a sphagnum moss inside that is slightly moist and he can go inside whenever to be more hydrated and I don't know. Apparently it is a good thing to have for them a humid hide where they have increased humidity. <laughs> what is up dude? You're tired? Sorry for waking you up. When I added the humid hide I actually removed the water dish. Instead I was soaking him daily but he really really hated that. So now I do it not as regularly but he got fresh water all the time. I still have this light that apparently it is not the best for them. Therefore you see over there I have some fresh Arcadia lights just like I have in Despacito's enclosure and Felix enclosure. I received those for eight so he will have the top solution for lighting. But today's video it won't be about that. Instead I have one different thing in my mind. Since it is summer outside it is real. Felix you aren't hiding. What is up? Are you going to immediately hide as I approach you? Oh maybe not. Oh look he is getting bolder and bolder. Nice. We have some improvements. This is nice. Uh, I keep getting distracted, so what, what What was I saying? Yeah, since it is summer, it is really hot outside. And you know that we actually have some native tortoise that live down in Dalmatia, that is the coastal part of Croatia. And during the summer they can easily survive here outside. During the winter it is a problem because it is too cold, but during the summer it is a-okay. So I thought that I want to make like outside area for eight. The problem is I don't have a house, so therefore I don't have a outside area where I can do that. But in the old dark den I have a balcony. So I thought that I can get a big plastic bucket, bigger than his enclosure, and set it up for him for the summer. So he can spend summer at the old dark den. What do you say about that? I think that it is great. So we are going to do just that. Now I will take some some stuff that I need to set the enclosure. I already have the plastic bucket prepared at home. I will take all the stuff and we will proceed from there. What do you say about that? Let's do that. We need some substrate and I have a lot of substrate here, freshly mixed. We also need some clay balls. I have some here, but this won't be enough. But thankfully I have more at home. Some clay balls. And big bucket of substrate. Yes, that is all that I need from... Oh, and, and I need this tube. I will explain you why later. Now let's teleport. And here we are at the balcony. You see, this is the old Dark Dance balcony. And I'm going to talk really, really uh, quiet, quiet, because I don't want neighbors to hear me. Um, this is the bucket. You see, beautiful bucket. It will be perfect for eight. It is bigger than his actual enclosure. So first we are going to put the... Why, why am I using... No. Ah, actually I need it for the microphone because this is pretty far away. I'm going to put these clay balls and you see here I have a bag of more clay balls because this won't be enough. So yeah, this is now technically my microphone so I can talk not as loud and you can still hear me. That was loud, right? That is my neighbor. 
a bit too much labels, so we are going to remove some of it. When it is hot, it is super hot. Now this comes in play. As you see, I have hot glue gun. I will show you why. I want to put this tube in this corner, like this, all the way to the bottom. And the reason is, with time, this will probably fill with water, this drainage layer. So I want to be able to suck that water out, I mean to siphon it out, out of the, this bucket. The other option was to drill a hole here and then I would be able to just, I mean, water would be able to drain on its own, but then I won't be able to reuse this bucket for something else and I don't want to do that, so therefore the tube will come in play yeah and I will just use a hot glue gun to to glue it on the side of the enclosure nothing else and I want a lot of glue because I want this to work I don't want it to fall off you see just like that perfect and this is something that I almost forgot to take this is a uh, you know the mesh to separate the drainage layer from the substrate I almost forgot about it now I need to cut it to appropriate size and put it inside and I'm sweating so much because it is super hot, super hot. And scissors. Scissory, scissory, scissors. Making a guesstimate. Something like this. I think I got it. As always, I'm not being super precise with that. I'm just hoping for everything to fit on its place. I am a simple man. With mesh being set on its place, we are ready for the substrate. And that should also be a super straightforward. We just take the substrate and dump it all in. The only question is, do I have enough? Oh, it will be more than enough. Now for next step we need to do one time jump. And now I brought the rest of the stuff that I need. I have one rock to place in the middle. I have some sort of uh, branch or something that I will just decorate. I have this thing that it will be a hide. I will make a hide out of it. And of course I have a lot of plants that I actually dug up from that field. And it is all that eight eats. I am going to plant those. Actually first I am going to put the rock. And it will be awesome. This rock will go in the middle. Because this part, even though currently it is in the shade, during the day, majority of the day, this part will be well lit by sun. It will probably spend a lot of time on it. That's my assumption. So that is that. And now this, I'm not really sure how and where I will put it. Because it's actually, you see, it is too big. Well, I was thinking about like this. Okay, nice. I like how this looks. And I actually need scissors for this. But they are inside. Just a second. Once again, scissory, scissory. This will be hide, and I will just cut it like I don't know, like like this, and put it inside. Oh my God! This plastic is really hard. This is way harder than I thought. Now just bury it here. There, now this will be a nice hide and I will just fill it up with, uh, with the sphagnum moss so that way I can retain a lot of humidity inside. That's the idea. At first, originally, I bought this plastic, plastic box but it is, you see, really large and it would just take too much space so that's why I decided to use that hide. Now we are going to plant the plants. And there we go, I know that it doesn't look the best because all the leaves all the plants they look kind of dryish but hopefully once I water them and I give them time to recover it will look nice. We will see. So we will do one time the part. And while Thor is munching on one, one roach, <laughs> look at this adorable smile. Oh he's done actually with the roach. We are going to grab eight. Eight! You are going on an adventure. Are you excited? The adventure will be awesome. But, uh, second? With eight being on my lap, let's do another teleport and we are here. Eight, are you ready to get a new enclosure? I bet you are. Look, look what I made for you. This is all yours. <laughs> oh my God, so much space. So much new things to explore. <laughs> And you see, unfortunately, plants didn't really recover that well overnight. But I hope that they will, I don't know. But maybe he will just eat them all. Right, Eight? You can now eat all the plants. All the plants you want. Do you like it? I think I'm more excited than he is. <laughs> and also, Eight, you can dig. You can dig as much as you want. 
Oh. <laughs> it looks like he's checking it out. <laughs> ah, this is so epic. And you see now how this part is in the shade and this part is well lit because the sun is rising over there and traveling like this, 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 this and going over there. So through most of the day this part will be like this, well lit and bright. While this enclosure still provides shade and it will be able to regulate as, as he thinks it's the best for him. And that is usually the best way to make an enclosure for your animal, at least for most reptiles, to allow them to have a variety of environments so they can choose what is the best for them at the current, at the current place, at the current time, I mean. Same thing goes for chameleons and bearded dragons. That's why you need a big enclosure and not just one spot with UVB and heat so the, the animal doesn't really have a choice. Come on, Aid, continue your exploration. And I'm really happy that now he got exposure to real sun because you know, no matter how UVB lamps are good, real sun is always the best. You cannot beat real sun. And this is something new for him. Enjoy it, little buddy. Enjoy it. Oh, he is starting to munch on the leaves. <laughs> nice. And of course, I didn't forget I brought his water dish, but I don't really know where I will put it. Probably somewhere here. Although that means that I will need to remove these plants. But there is more than enough plants inside of this enclosure, I think. So I'm just going to plug this one out. I can actually put it here behind, behind his hide like this. Yeah. Now we have this open spot. Just blip. Perfect. Just need to fill it up. <laughs> And I actually forgot to record an outro for this video, so while you are enjoying this time-lapse of 8 strolling and eating through his new enclosure, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye!